What's up guys, it's the Glangle Gamer here. And this is another blind gameplay. This is one I've had for quite a while and I just haven't got round to it. And you can probably tell what it is, yeah. Halo 3 ODST for the Xbox 360. Um, see, I'm just gonna, like I said here, I'm watching so I'm gonna get a cup of tea. I'm just gonna leave this to play because I don't really wanna talk over it. Actually, no, no, wait. Aside for the, um, sorry about that, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah, this is Halo 3 ODST. I think I tried to do this ages ago, but I couldn't get it to work. And yeah, I actually have the two disc edition. Disc one is in the Xbox now. I've also got the multiplayer disc as well for like, I don't know, is it Xbox Live or is it like other normal multiplayers? It's a little bit loud actually, I might turn that down. Yeah, I have been playing through Halo 2 recently, but um, I can't get past one of the... Um, uh, I've got the part near the end of the game, and it's a bit hard, so I've kind of given up, but I did enjoy the game. I really did, I really do enjoy Halo 2, it's a fantastic game. Stories, stories good. Gameplay is fantastic. The soundtrack is amazing. Right then, let's start a solo game. Uh, let's go for easy. Um, is this the first level? Um, yeah, I've never actually played this game before. Um, I've played just the uh, normal Halo 3. inside a Covenant ship. Oh, Wake this, up, Buttercup. Is this us? Relax, rookie. You don't mean nothing. Besides, now's one of those times. Pays to be the strong, silent type. Really, we're gonna do this again. Can I move? Can I move? Okay, I can only move the camera so far. I am going out later, so yeah, I should. I should be able to get this done now. It is morning, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how long we're in. Anyway. Four minutes. Okay. Let's leave that there. Let's see it's ten. I don't think you play as Master Chief in this game, you play as someone else. And yeah, this is two discs. Which I didn't even know. I have beat the original Halo 3. Ages ago. I got my gun. 
of course. Oh no, we're gonna crash! Look out below! Come on, hurry up. I'm gonna start playing that one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I control this? No. Um. What's going on? Is this a loading screen? If this is a loading screen, this is actually pretty cool. Not many Halo games have a loading screen when you're playing the game. The only time I ever recall seeing a loading screen when I'm playing Halo is when I start up the game. After that, no loading screens. It's just cutscenes and straight into the gameplay. It's the way it should be. And that's not hot, and yeah, that's the way it should be done. Planet Six. That's one thing I like about Halo. There's no loading screens after you start the game. It's just cutscenes and gameplay. Loading screens are completely gone. You don't see another loading screen until you start playing the game again. Where the heck are we? Neither has to look around the pod. I know. Played a Halo game before. You like these settings? Yes. No way. No way am I using them inverted. Remix to set the normal up there. Settings can be changed from the start. I know. I've played a Halo game before. Initiate emergency hatch release. How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. What button is it? What do I... How do I... The game isn't telling me what to do, so... I'm mashing everything on the controller. Oh, hold RB. Bang. Two. And we're gonna blow up. Eject sequence initiated. Nope. Oh. Uh, can I move now? Yes. Okay, I've got a hundred and... What? The stamina's low? Yeah, sure. The game forces you to take damage at the start of the game, before you've even started. Yep, that's completely fair. Right, where's it? Just straight ahead? Where's it through here? Yeah. It's a dead end. First impressions, uh, story is just the usual, like, space army stuff. Yeah, not really much. Most stories in the Halo games are kind of the same. Just evil guys kidnap someone or something, wants to take over the world. Master Chief has to stop him. Find a medical kiosk to restore health. The hell's a kiosk? So in this, in other Halo games, you have to... Your health just automatically recharges, but in this game you have to find kiosks to restore your health. Okay, yeah, it does kind of make it more realistic. I do like recharging health, but yeah, this does make it more realistic. So, yeah, where's what even is a kiosk? I don't know what a kiosk looks like. Hang on. What the heck is a kiosk? Yeah, go through here. Is the door locked? And then I... Where are we going? This is some start of the game. Oh. Um. Wow. Do I want to repeat health training? No. Activate my visor. Help target identification. Uh, okay. Friendly units, yes, I know, I know, no, right, is this just like the tutorial, because there's literally no enemies around here, can I go through here, okay, where's the visor, right, where did I go, 
This is a dead end. Uh, well, this is a great start, isn't it? Is it back here somewhere? Can I sprint on anything? I actually do want to see if I can get Halo Wars and Halo 4. Oh. The bad guy. Die. Can you barely? Yes, you can. I don't, I don't think this is Master Chief, but... Uh, okay, yeah. Swap. Guns. Okay. Right, hang on. Die. Go. Where's the radar? Is there not a radar? Four to five. Yeah. There's someone else. There's one more. Get some health. May not lost any health, no? Sweet. Is there not one more enemy there? Alright, well that was a great start to the game. What? I guess you didn't really like me uh, running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out what's going on because I'm always doing this, but it is my first time playing, so. You have to excuse me there. Alright, where do I go now? You know, a map would be kind of helpful right now. Is there a door around here or something? What's this? Can I, um. It's over here then. Bloody hell, that's a bright red. No, it doesn't look like I can get over here. The heck am I going? <sighs> what a start. What a start. It's a dead end. Down here. Um, am I going the right way? There's no one here. This doesn't look. This looks different. Yes, it is. There's someone running across over there. I saw someone move. Music's kind of scary. Sounds like something out of a horror game. Or a horror movie. Am I going backwards? I don't know where I'm going here. Right, yeah, this is a great star, doesn't it? It's the third time I've said that. I'm getting repetitive. I need to stop that. Oh, hang on. Great close. Damn it. Right, hang on a minute. We have found some enemies. I have another weapon? Yeah, I have this. Let's just keep that. Five out of five. What's dark times? Killed five enemies while using visor mode. Sweet. Too bad. I should really keep visor mode on for the majority of this. That's kind of help. It's kind of pointless though, because in other Halo games you were just... Bloody hell, my gun's almost out of ammo. Bloody hell. He's LT to throw a grenade at enemies, I'm not going to do that. Another checkpoint. Do any of these doors open? Is there a way to open them? Yeah, let's go take the camera. What's this? Connection lost. Where am I going? I was really expecting this to be a much better start to the game, guys, honestly. We're not that visor mode. It's annoying. Is this the right way? What the hell? This first level is kind of scary. Is there a way to... You 
Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of liking this game so far. The first level does seem a bit confusing, but... Yeah, there is other Halo games. There's like seven Halo games on the 360. There's Halo 3, ODST, Halo Wars, Halo Reach, Halo 4, Halo Anniversary. Yeah, there's like a lot of Halo games on the 360. Is this my first time playing a shooter? Like an actual shooter? Oh my goodness, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm dead. I'm not dead yet. I will fight till the bitter end. I like how the screen changes. It does kind of hurt your eyes, but when you're dying, it's kind of like in Call of Duty when the color of the screen changes. What the hell? I'm in trouble. Boom, headshot. Am I supposed to get 10 headshots or something? Oh yeah, I forgot you can pick up other enemies' weapons. Yeah, how did I forget that? What are we at? Um, 16 minutes, okay. And about 10 of it has been me running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out what the heck to do. What's your weapon? Oh. Oh yeah, needlers. I love these weapons. Ah, there's nothing on it. Yeah, what's this? Right, what's this? You shoot these at them. You shoot those at them. And they explode. That's why the needle is one of my favourite weapons. It has bullets, or needles, rather, that explode. See behind the shield? I am out of ammo. Well, balls. Come on. Where's your weapon? This is kind of scary, actually. He's dead. What weapon's he got? Okay, a plasma pistol. Ah, um, my thing in my jig is gone. The... What's it called? I don't really like the plasma pistols. I mean, you can actually recharge them up and, like, get, like, a really, really good shot. Which, necessarily, doesn't really work. Look, I've messed up, see? Look. Oh. Right, no mess up, I just kill him. Right, we're at a checkpoint. Is this literally just running around and shooting enemies? Connect, contact city superintendent for assistance. How do I, how do I, how do I contact someone? Yeah, I could contact him if you if you actually told me how to. How do you find my ODST team? Well, where is the team? Hey, health. Thank you. City alert. Eh. How did I open the door? Well, oh, hang on. Are they not behind the door? Are they over here? Oh, they are in there. Well, how how do you get in there then? Oh wait. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. This be is this where you contact someone? Should be where you contact people. Right. Access data terminal. Superintendent online. What does that mean? Where is he? Downloading city map. Um. There's an achievement for opening the map. There's an achievement for accessing the map. Like, like seriously? Okay. 
and my team is um wow a lot of areas are locked where's my team um okay well this is um Okay, let's just... Can I go back? Oh, hang on. Okay, that's me. Okay, well this is the most pointless tutorial ever. Right, this is my, uh, right, so, so that must be where my team is then. Me and tell data. Contact city superintendent. Okay, well, I've already done that. Like, why can't you just tell me all this at the start of the game? Like, before the, like, why couldn't you just give me, like, a tutorial or something? Instead of like making me do this in the first level. No, I do. I don't care. No, I don't want to repeat training. So that's where I'm meant to go. Um. So if it's in the middle. And I think that should be where they go. I think that should mean I'm going. Okay, yeah, I'm going right right now. What are we at? Um, oh bloody hell, twenty two minutes. Um, yeah, I'll probably just go for half an hour. Even if this is a bit. Um. I can't see a thing. Is there a thing, man? Insert mail. What? Okay, how, okay. Where am I going? You know, this would be helpful if I could actually see where I was supposed to go. Yeah, like, seriously. Is this it here? Yeah, this is it. Slow to... What? Okay. Open security door. I can't see a damn thing. Great. Is there no lights in here? Because... Like... You know, a light would be kind of helpful. Have I not got a light or something? Um. Okay, that's a little bit helpful. At least. Yeah, I'm gonna... I am actually gonna try and beat this game. I usually just buy shooters, just play the campaigns, and then really, um... Just never really touch them again. Oh, we have some enemies. You, you hate these things, they're useless. You, you, you can literally kill these things by doing this. They're that pathetic. They are so pathetic. Alright, first grenade. Is a complete fail. What's that? Is that just another plasma crystal? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, let's keep it. Yeah, this, yeah, this game's pretty good so far. I'm kind of getting mad. I'm getting a feeling for the controls now. Yeah, I'm getting used to the controls now. It's kind of different to the way the normal Halo games do it, but... Yeah, I like it. I like different. I just tried to make the game kind of more realistic. 
in a way. And yeah, like non recharging health, which you know actually does kind of make it realistic. Is that everyone? Bloody hell, that's bright. And the visor on. And another checkpoint. I've reached the nave beacon. Search building for a clue to your squad mate's location. What is this? I think I am five. How do I get past there? Can I open the door? You know, that's locked. Um. Can I swap this? That's done. Swap. Hold up, we just swap for. Oh, a spiker. What's a spiker? Where's this clue? That I'm supposed to look for. Okay, I'm going further away. Is there, a, there has to be a clue in here somewhere. This is friggin' bright, by the way. I don't know what this clue is. What's this? Alright, assault rifle, not bad. Right, seriously. What did I mean clue? What do I mean? I have to be in here somewhere. It's a dead body. Rest in peace, man. Hey, this is getting ridiculous now. That, uh, that door is locked as well. It's a, it must be in here then. It says it's in here. Right the zero meters, it must be in here somewhere. It's just a... Right. <sighs> More running around like a headless chicken. Great. Uh, right, mate. What are we at? Um, 27 minutes. Right. I'll find this... What's this? What's that flashing thing? It has to be in here somewhere. Seriously. It has to be. Can't interact with... Can't interact with anything. Hmm? Evacuate... What? Evacuate what? There's nothing to evacuate. <sighs> this is... Um, a great start. Okay, honestly, it says it's it's saying it's in here somewhere. But where? Um, explore this. Um, search Taitai Plaza for this from a squad mate. Must be in here somewhere. Okay, I didn't. I haven't, I haven't been up here yet, have I? Could be up here somewhere. Okay, yeah, door's locked. Hey, right, checkpoint. It's in here. on here. Um. <sighs> Door closing behind me there. This kind of feels like a horror game. This part. It's dark. Like, eerie, kind of creepy music. Maybe it must be in here somewhere. Yeah, this door's kind of fit. Oh, checkpoint. That's, that's outside. Oh, there's a beeping. Is that 
Oh, is that somewhere close? How can you? How, how can anybody see in there? It's pitch black. Helmet destroyed the screen. How dare you? We have to right, find this helmet, so it must be a clue or something. Buck. Tied out Plaza immediately after the drop. What the heck did Buck mean? Lumumba. 0626 hours. Um, yeah, we're at, um, oh crap, 31 minutes, uh, so yeah, um, just watch this cutscene and land it. Actually, I would play this this part, but um, we're over half an hour, and I don't really like doing videos over half an hour. So, yeah, I think I'll just. It's not the first mission done. Find the first clue unraveling the mystery. Um. Okay, we're 33 minutes. I'm gonna have to end it here, guys. So yeah, that was uh, my first impressions of Halo 3 ODST. First impressions overall, um, decent graphics, um, uh, yeah, decent graphics, the gameplay is the same as usual. Yeah, the gameplay, uh, the game does play pretty well, um, it's a little more realistic than the, uh, other Halo games, you know, such as, like, um, yeah, such as, like, just with the health, oh, crap, I'm being attacked, pause, so, yeah. Kind of more realistic, but as in, like, you have to regain your health instead of, um, recharging health. Which actually does kind of make the game a, a bit more realistic. Um, uh, the music in the first level was good. So, yeah, uh, kind of liking this game so far. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully I continue to enjoy this game, and yeah, I will see you later.